Good morning world. Welcome to another Paint with Pete session. My name is Paint My name is Paint with Pete. My name is Pete Obsolete and you're watching Manchester's finest. We've been collaborating for the past couple of Mondays from 10 to 11 every Monday morning just to get those creative juices out, keep the head ticking over and keep your hands busy and washed obviously. So over the past couple of weeks we've done quite a few different bits. Uh, we've asked our amazing audience to come up with things for me to paint. Um, I've shown you how to draw a skull or how I would paint my canvas. That's this guy. Thank you to the amazing Laura Wilcock for christening this guy. He is Skull and Nugget. We've done, so we've done quite a few different techniques within art. I'm going to leave him there. Uh, today, I want, to do, I want to take it all the way back to a very simple kind of uh, structure of the face. So again, if you need a bit of creativity, if you've got a bit of downtime and you're looking for something to fill that time with, very, very easy way of doing it is to draw one of these things. Uh, we've all got faces and we shouldn't be afraid to use them. Um, and we also shouldn't be afraid to draw them as well. So everything from character design, cartoons, Mickey Mouse, uh, all the way through to things like um, Thanos, the big graphic uh, world of Marvel, etc., etc., all starts with knowing how the face looks and how it's built up from different sections. So I have my workspace ready. I've got my nice big white wall. I've got some painting gear on and I've got my, uh, my whole studio set up here. We are going to be doing the, uh, the skull. Or well, I'm going to be doing the skull on my black canvas here. I painted him last night. Again, very matte. Um, if you've got a white bit of paper, absolutely fine. If you want to put it on a different color paper, you can see how uh, the change in the color of the background um, changes how you draw, what you draw, the colors you draw with. But today, I'm only gonna use a couple of different colors. So I've got pink, blue, yellow, and green. We will be customizing our skull. I'm gonna use uh, my pencil to start with and a big red Posca to show you the structure of how the face is created and, and the breakdown and the difference and the distance between the eyes and the nose, etc., etc. If you only have pencils and pens, that is exactly what we need right now, okay? Super simple toolkit. Um, again, I'm using Poscas and pencils and stuff, but if you only have a pen or a pencil and a bit of paper, you've got everything you need. Anything that I put on my wall, whether it's in pen or pencil, can be recreated with those lines in a pen or a pencil. So if you are comfortable using those things, um, amazing. And again, it's just about gaining that confidence and just being creative about it. I've also got my, my uh, I've got some water and a nice little hip hop tape. Shouts to Pro P, P-R-O space P on Instagram. Um, and YouTube and Facebook if you want some really, really nice local Manchester-based hip-hop uh, just to draw to. So we're going to get some tunes on. I'm going to get my Big Red. Have a drink of water. Cheers, everybody. So I'm going to do my uh, face structure lines in red. I'm using a big, fat red Posca uh, just so we can all see exactly what we're doing. There we are. I'm going to go here. I'm going to do a big uh, face shape. I'm going to maybe do a couple... But again, if, um, if you are wanting to take a little bit more time, please do. I draw very quickly, certainly within these sessions, uh, because I want to just translate what we're doing onto the wall as quickly and as efficiently as I can. But if you want to pause the video or look back through any of the other videos on Manchester's Finest and the Paint With Pete sessions, you can do that. You can go through and pause it, have a look what you've done, unpause and move forward with it. So let's get some tunes on. So we've got a nice little instrumental tape on. All we're doing, again, if you've got a pencil, now's the time to grab your pencil. So doing our baseline for our face. So normally I'm gonna do three little ones and I'll do a big one here so, we can, so everybody can see it. So I'm just gonna do, draw a couple of eggs. Nice big circles, don't matter what kind of size you've got. Available to you, all human heads start with eggs. I'm not going to draw anyone specifically. Uh, again, this is just the kind of structure that we can then customize at will. So we can then do, we can add hats and glasses. And again, fangs, uh, scars, piercings, anything you, want to, anything you want to add to make it your own and make it unique to you. So there's my three eggs. Slightly fatter at the top. I'll do another one here. So slightly fatter at the top, a little bit narrower at the bottom. I'm going to use this one as a bit more of a, an exaggerated version, but I'm just going to draw my big egg here. And because I want to make sure it's the right shape, I'm going to use a pencil. 
Again, a pencil can really, really help that confidence. You can get your trial lines in and just get your hand used to drawing those shapes in that pencil. And obviously you can rub it out after if you want. You may see me doing a couple of different lines of the same shape, that's fine. All I'm doing is making sure I've got a shape. You might not be able to see that. So I'm just gonna fill that in with red. Nice big line. So again, I'm just just using the, uh, the pencil lines that I've got underneath. I'm just gonna fill them in. Okay, an egg, an upside down egg, some say. So we've got a slightly bigger top here and here. So obviously this part of my head is wider than this part of my head. So that's where this structure comes in. Okay, the next line, very important, is the middle line. I'll just flatten this out a little bit. So again, on my uh, trial eggs, I'm just gonna put lines straight down the middle. And again, on my exaggerated one as well. And then one big one for our main egg. There we are, roughly down the middle. Please don't be too concerned if it's slightly off um, or not very neat. That's exactly what these sessions are for. We're just getting those creative juices going. Okay, we wanna divide all our eggs into two. So we're gonna go halfway, we're gonna do a line halfway down our eggs. And four. In fact, I'm gonna do this guy at a slight angle. So at a slight angle, if the face is forward or slightly turned, your middle line, obviously if you're facing forward, will be the middle. If it isn't, if you're facing slightly to one side, it's gonna be slightly to one side. So I'm just gonna come in here, see if we can do something with that. Okay, and then I'm gonna guess about there for my middle line on big egg. So you should have an egg with a cross in it. Super simple. Okay, the next line, divide the bottom half into two one more time. So again, it can be uh, a guesstimate. And then with this one again, I'm just gonna, because the face is slightly turned, it's gonna have a slightly different perspective on it. So there we are. Just gonna ink that in thicker so you can see him. So there's my egg face. This guy's turned a little bit. So again, the perspective will be slightly different. And then about here for our big egg. Okie dokie. This might get a little bit repetitive. We're gonna divide the bottom half, the bottom section, bottom quarter into two again. One, two, three, four. And on our big egg, there we are. Again, I'm using a big red, just so we can all see it. If you're using pencil at this point, again, spot on. Okie dokie, so the next line, we wanna find our eyes. So we wanna work out where our eyes are gonna sit. Again, you can start seeing the kind of areas. So this is our, our eye line. If you wanna write these next to it, just to remind you, absolutely fine, that's your eye line. This is your nose line. And this is your mouth line. There we go. Eyes, nose, mouth. Three main features of the human face. We've also got ears, and again, hair and chins and stuff that we can add in, in a minute. Okay, the next thing, we've got to divide each of our half lines into five. Okay, your eyes are one fifth the size of your head. So we've got one fifth, eye, one fifth, eye, one fifth. So how to do that? Again, is a little bit of guesstimation. So there's one and two and three, four. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So one, space there, space there. There we are. And again, with the perspective, it's gonna be slightly harder because his eyes, his closer eye is gonna be bigger. And on Mr. Egg as well. So we'll go one, two, three, four. Excuse me. Okay, once we've done that, we can do circles within the two vertical lines for our eyes. You will then start seeing the kind of skeleton of these faces come in, or the skull shapes. So again, I'm doing it a couple of times. 
just to get my hand right. And again, with the uh, turned face, the eye will be smaller there. So he's kind of looking this way. And in big circles on big egg. As you will know if you have seen the other previous uh, Paint with Pete's on Manchester's Finest, I need names for my characters. If anyone's got a name for Mr. Egghead, he's going to be Egghead for now. Please come up with one. Give me a shout. I will name my artwork after you. Okay. The next thing, divide those circles in two, straight down. All the way down. All the way down. That was a bit of a rough one there. All the way down. There we go. Again, slightly curved because he's turned. And then on our egg head, just make his eyes a little bit more circular. Straight down the middle, all the way to the bottom. Again, overlap your line just so you can see that structure. And you should start seeing a little bit of C3PO come in. There we are. So we've got eyes and uh, we need to do our nose and our mouth now as well. So the nose in basic shape is a triangle. Obviously you've got nostrils, it's a straight line. Uh, with nostrils, ne with circles next to it. Obviously, if you extend that, that is a triangle. So you've got your area that the nose can go into. So again, we just do two marks halfway along the nose line. And we've got our triangles here. I realize this is a very kind of a simple procedure. But again, once you start learning these uh, simple techniques, you can start applying them or reappropriating them into different projects. We have our noses on our C3PO. Okay, so the mouth. We all know the shape of a mouth. Um, it's basically it's kind of a, a long diamond, a long flat diamond. So that's how we're going to work it. So I'm just going to come up and down. So we've got a mouth area. Again, this isn't our final mouth, but this is our area in which our mouth will go. Again, a little bit strange with this guy. Okay, so our mouth area. On the big guy, on the egghead, we're gonna just come up. Thus, the mouth area. Okay, nice and easy diamond here. So we've got circle, triangle, diamond, and we have our eyes, nose, and mouth set up. Lovely, okay. Some people don't believe you, uh, but your ears, um, officially, <laughs> Start on your eye line and go all the way down to the nose line. So if you do want to add ears, just to give them a bit more of a human characteristic. Again, ears are very simple kind of uh, ovals. So we have our ear. We also, from the eye line, we have our neck, our neckline. So you can start putting these little kind of, um, you know, uh, characteristics of what a human looks like in and your crazy little egg dudes should turn into a little bit more human dudes. There we are. Okay, basic lines, there we are. There were also some um, hidden lines within the lines you've just automatically created by drawing circles. So you have your eyebrow line. Eyebrow. These are basically your, the skull eyes, your eye sockets. That's the word for them. So if you want to bit add those eye sockets in, again, just tiny little lines like this. We'll give it a bit more of a human quality. For that jaw, these points from the nose line, I'm just gonna put another little line just above that. And then from the top of your ear, I'm gonna come down and down. And you start seeing the jaw shape come in a little bit more. So we've got the top jaw and the top set of teeth here little bit of imagination needed, I'm sure we've all got some. And then obviously the bottom uh, side of the jaw as well, so the, uh, your mandible. So these lines become the jaw. I realize this still has an egg shape. We are bringing little lines in to kind of edit that shape a little bit. I'm gonna switch to black in a minute and draw the final line of the jaw in. But again, just for now, we need to add a few more little bits. So again, with the nostrils, your nose isn't a perfect triangle. Circle in the, in the triangle. Two little circles that meet the, uh, you know, the up bar and the bottom line. And then obviously you've also got the idea of a straight nose bone as well. So then this comes out and you start to get these shapes. So you'll see it on the black pen, but this is, this will be your nose. 
Then obviously we've got nostrils. And then we come into the nose like that. We could also draw the, um, uh, if anyone knows the technical name, the line that links, the smile line, I guess we'll call it the smile line. So you can put that in. So that will reach all the way down from your nostril to the side of your mouth. Again, these little test lines, I will finalize them with a black in a sec. Give them a little bit of a chin. So I'm gonna make mine a, a male egg. So we can put a chin in. Just extend that chin a little bit. And then you can obviously add things like beards um, or stubble or anything like that. Any other uh, characteristics of the face you are drawing or making up. Again, with the lips, there is a, another V in here. So we've got this lip shape coming in when really we know the lips are a bit more like this, a little bit softer. So we can use that or use those lines that we've drawn as a little test. There we are. With the eyes, again, we're using the width of that circle. So we're just drawing an, uh, half, a semicircle and another semicircle. Let's do them on here as well. Forget, I can't forget your eggs. Look after your eggs, guys. So all I'm drawing is small ovals in between the circles and that will give our actual um, eye shape, like the pupils in here as well. So you've got the center line for your pupils. Again, you can start seeing some of the characteristics come in. I'm gonna put, make his ears a little bit more natural. So just going over that line, there we are. So we can make him surprised by putting eyebrows up we can do him like uh, The Rock. So he's raising one eyebrow. We've also got a lot of negative space here. Let's put his eyebrows in. There we are. Ooh. And again, these different uh, emotions will do different things to your eyebrows. Again, use a mirror. Just look at yourself. Smile. See what happens to your eyebrows will go slightly up. If you're angry, your uh, eyebrows point slightly down. So you can dictate how these uh, characters feel simply by eyebrows and again that mouth shape we want a bit, little bit of hair let's put a bit of hair in um, I'm just gonna do them in a normal kind of uh, short back and sides haircut so again just a little spiky one and then all we're doing is coming over and obviously the hair is a little bit thicker than the actual skull so we're just gonna put a little bit of hair in as well there we are okay that is our very very simple um, structure of a face. I'm now going to get my take my black pen and we're going to draw over this for our final line. So again, thank you for drawing with me. I hope everyone's um, drawing and I am being creative. Uh, I also really hope everyone's safe and sound. Um, my thoughts are with you um, if you are suffering from corona. Um, but please give the NHS and anybody uh, who needs it a shout out. Give them some love. I know we can't hug anyone at the moment. It's really, really, I'm a hugger. Uh, it's really, really difficult at the moment. Um, but keep spreading that positive message. Keep washing them hands. Keep being good to each other. Let's grab a black pen. Lovely. Okay. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is put a slightly thicker or a more obvious line over this face so you can see where the structure is in red and the final lines are in black. Again, if you wanna follow me um, in the areas or the order in which I do things, please do. Um, so, so far we should just have a kind of nice simple egg structure, again with some human details in it. So we've got our circular eyes, we drew an egg, upside down egg, cut them in half for the eye line, cut that in half for the nose, and then cut that in half for the mouth. Again, after that, it is a little bit customization. We divided our eyes up so we knew where our pupils were gonna go, and our jaw, and our mouth width. We then put the mouth in, a bit of nose, and again, a few more details. So I'm gonna work over this for the final line, just so you can see it. So I always start with the eyes and the nose, and then mouth, jaw, chin, and then head, because I wanna get a nice little smooth line over that so, and I, by doing the uh, the features first i'll start seeing the uh, the ratios if the ratios are right and if i need to edit anything else so i always start with the eyes so two ovals all i'm doing is following that red line
two ovals. Let's get our eyes in. He's probably going to be a little bit starey because I'm not doing him tired or excited or confused or angry. This is just a face looking at you, right? Like a passport photo. There's our eyes. Let's put a little bit of uh, just eyelashes in. Again, just these little touches of human. Kind of grind it a lot more. Takes it away from being the robot. And the nose. So again, your nose uh, starts your eyebrows. So again, we're using these, the eyebrow lines. And we're just going to use that. Follow it down a little bit like this. Follow that. And again, we're using this triangle, so I know the areas here. So we've got nostrils, but nostrils aren't uh, shotgun barrels. They're not perfectly circular. So again, just using that. Two little semicircles, and then obviously linking those for your nose. Nostril. Okay, and then we're going to go to the mouth. So again, I'm just softening those edges using these fairly straight, straight-ish lines as a guide. But I'm going to start putting a little bit of curve in them. So like with the uh, drawing last week and the lettering, I'm using the pivot of my wrist and my elbow and my shoulder to get that nice curve in. It might be uh, variations on a theme, but that's the kind of basis. So again, I'm going to come from the, the side of the mouth. Little creases there for the mouth. I'm going to come up. Okay, so we're using this, uh, it's called the Cupid's Bow as a shape. And then we're just going to come down and do the bottom lip. Again, nice and smooth. There we are. So there's our mouth shape, but we need a little bit of negative space so we can see his teeth or his tongue. Again, top lip. You know, a lot of this is, uh, is, is looking. We all see faces every day whether it's online more, sadly, these days. Um, but we all know the human face. So if, um, if you need a bit of inspiration, use yourself, use your own face. I've drawn myself um, quite a lot. I've drawn my hand a lot and my eyes. And that kind of just uh, reaffirms that you can decide to do something and do it, but then also put it into a context like the face. I'm going to do my standard teeth. So I do uh, lumpy teeth. So again, just a little bit of customization. Please add whatever you like to your character. I'm going to give him a nose piercing now as well. Nice and easy. Okay, the next thing. Cheers, mate. Uh, the next thing is um, the jaw. So we're just going to put a jaw line in. But again, it's not going to be a solid line because it's just a suggestion of where the bone structure is. You can feel it. Again, touch your face. Wash your hands first, but touch your face. So we're going to come down. Not all the way through to the red line because, again, we don't want it full. We want a suggestion of the shape. Again, that gives our bottom jaw. Ears will be next. So, again, a little bit more human than the red line that we drew. So, a little bit more curly. And obviously, get your tabs out. Okay. And then we're going to come down and do the chin. I'm going to come out a little bit more because I want to make it a masculine or a slightly more masculine face. Uh, this really soft, gentle kind of line uh, suggests a feminine face, whereas a man's face, we have slightly stronger jaws at the bottom. Again, I'm being stereotypical, but that's fine. That's how it is. Certainly with faces. That's the bottom jaw. Again, I've said I'm going to leave my headline for a minute. I'm just going to add a few human lines in. So there's that. We need our eyebrow. So again, we're going to go for a kind of Dwayne The Rock Johnson eyebrow. And again, all I'm doing is kind of looking at my eyebrow hair. Sounds strange, but it's true. And following those tiny hairlines, just to give it a little bit of a hair detail. Okay, a couple bit more dark areas like on the nostrils just to give them a little bit of depth. Hope everyone can see this all right. And again, I'm just using 
what I know of my own face. So my fulcrum, jaw coming in a little bit more. And then again, we've got our smile lines. So they're gonna come around. A little chin. Some pupils just cause, I don't know, pupils seem to make him a bit scarier, a bit more like he's staring, but oh, that's cool. Fill them up a little bit. Some big old pupils, no, why not? Okay, cool. And then we're gonna put our hair in again. I'm just doing a kind of simple uh, short back and sides haircut just for now. But again, please grab a uh, grab a hairdresser's book. Um, grab some old photos. Grab some photos of your uh, mum and dad or parents or guardians from back in the day when their hair was amazing, um, and use that as the basis. Again, these kind of uh, these little ideas. You know, you can. Draw the people around you, draw your friends, draw your flatmates, draw your mum and dad. You can even give it to them as a gift or a present or something. So again, just a little bit of hair. I normally draw bold people, <laughs> so um, I need to practice my hair. He's got a little bit more, too much hair though, I think. But again, that doesn't matter. I'm going to just put a little hat on him. Just put a little cap on. Again, you can customize yours at will. My, my guy is going to be wearing a hat that's way too small for him. Um, and he's going to have like helicopter blues on it. So again, what else can we think of to customize? Let's we'll get his neckline in. So he starts existing a little bit more. There we go, the shoulders. Shoulders. Okay, so he is a little bit starey. That's fine. I'm going to put a couple of ear piercings in. I can do, let's, we could do a tattoo. Uh, where should we do, where should we do it? Oh, his cheek. Oops, you all. There we go. I'm going to put finest in his eyebrow. Again, if you customize at will, I am um, quite honestly, anything goes with these kind of drawings. There is no kind of pressure or expectation, certainly uh, for me personally with my own work, um, simply because that will allow me to be a lot more free and be able to make those mistakes and be able to learn about those mistakes. Colour his little mouth in, there we go. There we are. A very strange looking face, I do uh, agree. And again, we're not talking about shading or, or kind of um, the lighter and darker areas of the face. We are literally just looking at the kind of visible areas of a human face and how to draw them. Um, just so I can show you on this guy, because the, uh, because the face is facing this way, so that arrow is going there. So he's got an eye here. His closer eye will be bigger because of perspective. And then we've got a nose. Eyebrows. So again, if you want to practice, if you want to step up to the kind of next level of this, it will be turning the face. So how he looks left or right, if he's happy, if he's sad, how his eyebrows change that. Slightly smaller ear, again, because it's perspective. So we've got a mouth. That foreshortening I mentioned uh, last week with the S comes in in quite a lot of drawings, especially if it's uh, not front facing, again it's just practice. So the head will come slightly further back because your head obviously is bigger at the back. But all those lines are still there. there we go. Little bold guy. Okay, so we slightly turn. Bit weird. There we go. So hopefully you can see the slight difference. It's only slight um, from this guy facing forward and this guy slightly facing the other way. Everything is slightly different. Again, watch a film. Pause the screen if you like. One of the actors, draw them. Get a book. Again, hairdresser books are the best thing for hair. Um, and obviously, face setup. The, the photographs are, are very good quality, so you can actually see the light properly. That is our very, very simple face. Amazing work. 
Um, obviously I'm not an animal. It is half past 10. It is brew time. I have a little task for brew time. I would also like to uh, shout some people out as well. So go and put the kettle on if you want um, to go and grab a minute to go and put your kettle on. But please, uh, I would like to set a small task and this is an interactive thing. So after you've done it, please take a photo and put it on Manchester's Finest. Tag me, I am Pete Obsolete, hello. Um, if you would like to, please draw Bart Simpson from memory. Do not look at the internet, don't look at your DVDs or anything like that, but please just have a go at drawing Bart Simpson from memory. I'm gonna have a go, it's probably gonna look very weird, that's absolutely fine. I know he's got spiky hair, circular eyes, and he's got like an orange t-shirt on. Um, they are the kind of elements of Bart Simpson. I'm gonna try, it's probably gonna be terrible. Please join me, I wanna see your terrible Bart Simpsons. Um, I'll put mine up later as well. So please feel comfortable in sharing that, that work as well. Um, but obviously I love seeing people draw. I love seeing how people um, interpret different drawings as well. So I'm gonna try and draw Bart Simpson. Let's have a go. You can stay there. Let's grab some paper. Okay, nice and easy, just um, some A4, simple A4. Again, a format everyone's used to. Um, obviously, it's the same size that you put in your printers, etc. So I'm just gonna do here. Hopefully everyone can see that. Just stick my little, stick my piece up. Um, I'm gonna, I might just, try it with a pencil again. I'm not scared to use my pencil to start with, even showing you guys and, and kind of uh, walking through this. Um, pencils are amazing, please use them. Okay, so I know that he's got spiky hair. He's got a little ear and like a spiky hair. So he's kind of like a column, like a cracker almost with an ear. Um, I'm gonna do him facing that way. So he's got big round eyes. Uh, oh, hello. And then, um, yeah, like an oblong nose. And then, oh, how's his teeth? I'm gonna do like an angry Bart. This is very strange already, good. Okay, <laughs> I know that this isn't gonna look exactly like Bart Simpson, but again, I'm just using my memory. I'm trying to remember the elements of Bart Simpson, but exactly the same as the face two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. He has hair and ears. He is slightly turned, so it's a little bit more of a test for perspective. Um, I'm gonna try and ink him in. Uh, please laugh heartily at my drawing of Bart Simpson. Spiky hair. Um, oh, wow, okay. I love a challenge. Uh, there's one eye. Um, in Simpsons, in the Simpsons, their eyes are very close together. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, the nose. Sort of. I don't think I've got the mouth right, but I don't mind. Oh wow, okay, um, I think it's gonna be like that, isn't it? So I'm doing like an angry Bart. <laughs> that looks very strange. Yeah, I mean, elements of him are there. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm gonna put, don't have a cow, man. And there, my friends, is a rather terrible Bart Simpson. I'll just show the uh, main camera as well. My terrible Bart Simpson. Again, that's just from memory. I just know he's got two eyes, a nose and a mouth. Some spiky yellow hair. Doesn't matter what color it is. An ear, and we've got the neck. Quite similar, but obviously different to the structure of the face. We've got our eyes, nose, and our mouth and our hair and our jaw. 
and the ratios are slightly different because he's a cartoon. So there's my Bart Simpson. Please do not be scared to show us your work. Um, it takes a lot of confidence to do that, but also we love our interactions. Shouts to everybody watching. Hope you're enjoying Paint With Pete, and I hope you're enjoying drawing Bart Simpson. That's where we are. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay, also, um, I have an announcement for next week. So it's a, a little continuation of exactly what we're doing here, but I want to step it up a little bit more. Um, so it does become a little bit more detailed, a little bit more, I'm not going to say interesting, a bit more fun. So we've got our face structure. Uh, one of the things that I've uh, done in my past was a, a series of celebrity caricatures. They are called Sick Faces. Um, please have a look, Pete Obsolete on, on Facebook, Sick Faces album. So they kind of manifest themselves into uh, pieces like this. So this is David Bowie and Prince. And I've done a self-portrait. There we are. I've also done loads and loads of other celebrities. So uh, there's Liam Gallagher. Who else have we got in here? Please come up with um, any celebrity. Suggest something for me to draw. Pick a celebrity that you like, that you think is funny. There's a Christmas version of Pete, why not? Um, I've got Harry Pothead. I've got, uh, what else have we got? We've got some, there's loads of different celebrities. So please think of your favorite character or favorite actor um, who has played your favorite character. And I will attempt to draw them. Um, in this style, there's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, loads of different types of people. We can do musicians. So there's Tom York from Radiohead. Uh, who else have we got in here? Um, oh yeah, people like um, Johnny Depp as Edward Scissorhands. Loads and loads of different ones. I've got Shakespeare. So think of a celebrity or a famous person. Um, anybody. I will open the floodgates on this. I will draw anybody. Okay. Please come up with an idea, whether it's uh, recent history, um, art history, you know, any kind of uh, celebrity or well-known person that I can draw. I love drawing caricatures and I love drawing people with character. Obviously the face um, says a lot about that person and using those characteristics in the drawings is something I really, really enjoy. So please, this is over to you guys. This is the interactive part of next week. We've got a week. You can choose someone for me to paint or draw and I'll be drawing him live here, him or her, drawing them live uh, on this wall next week, you can see that from scratch. I'm not gonna put any baselines in. I'm gonna uh, go through the process of exactly how I would approach um, drawing this famous person. So please give me a shout, tag me in anything, tag Manchester's Finest in anything, come up with a celebrity, and I might be drawing your selected person next week. Okie dokie. That's the end of brew time. Hope everyone's doing good. We're just uh, being creative in the Paint With Pete sessions on Manchester's Finest. We've just done our egg shape and our egg face. I'm now going to turn this guy into a canvas. As you all know, if you've been keeping up with me and Manchester's Finest, I love painting skulls. Uh, skull and Nugget, par exemple, uh, from last week. And as you can see in the corner, we've got a uh, skull set and sad skull there as well. The skull is the basis. Um, I use skulls a lot because I like the human element in them. Obviously, you can see the fact they've got two eyes and nose and a mouth. But I've customized them and I make them a little bit more colorful. So I'm just going to use a couple of colors. We're going to break up the face again into those sections. I'm not going to put an outline in. Oh no, I will. Actually, I will. I'll do it in red. So I'm just going to put my basic egg in and then you'll see how the skull evolves into that. So again, this is a canvas. I'm not going to measure it. I want it to be creative. So all I'm going to do is guess it. All right, nice and scratchy line. It doesn't matter. Again, against this black. Looks nice. If you've got white, um, white backgrounds, if you've white paper, white books, um, a lot easier to see your line. And obviously a lot more comfortable because it, it feels like a, it's a sketchbook rather than being a painted canvas like this. So there's our egg head, Mr. Egg 2.0. We've got a half line, a half line again, and a half line. Again, being a lot more free with this one. I don't want it to be too structured. I don't want the red to be too thick at the end either. Our middle line all the way down. All the way down, there we go. Eye lines. 
Again, all we're doing at the moment is getting our C3PO on. Triangle for the nose. And again, eyes, eyes. And there's our basic structure on the canvas. Okay, egg, half, 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 eyes, nose, mouth, ready to customize. I have put a final, a kind of a, a guideline in for the shape of the head. And uh, that probably won't be the line though, because obviously I'm gonna turn it into a skull. So it's gonna be a, a minimal version of that, or a version of. Okie dokie, so let's do some eye spaces with our pink. I've got pink, blue, green, and yellow. I'll do the four areas of the face in different colors, and then we'll go over with the white. So pink for the eyes, why not? Let's have some pink skeleton eyes. I'm just gonna color them in really loosely again. Keeping my hand moving. Keep my head ticking over, lovely stuff. If you see me tapping my pen on my hand, that's just getting the ink back into the pen. Obviously I like drawing on everything, including myself. So, so we've got some eyes, nice pink circles there we are. Okay, we do uh, a blue nose. So again, I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna put a skull. It's gonna be half and half this one. So half triangle, half actual nose. I realise that looks like the, uh, <laughs> that's an Alan Partridge reference if anyone gets that lovely stuff, there we go. Emanating from the tip. Okay, uh, there's our nose with our nostrils. Again, I know I'm working very quickly here. Uh, let's do yellow, let's do a green mouth in fact, we'll do a green mouth. So again with the mouth, I'm just going to put a shape in. Nice and easy, colour it in. So this is obviously the, uh, the, the freer version of this. Uh, again, take your time on your faces, work on areas, it'll become more developed and you'll start seeing the face coming a lot more. Human elements, again, like shading, how the lighting hits the nose and stuff, will really help. Radio, eyes, nose and mouth. Super simple, we're just following the areas. Again, I've got a bit of work next to me that I can relate to, so if I had a magazine or a film poster or a DVD or something that I'm using as reference, that's really good because my eye can just go, oh yep, I'm right or I'm wrong or I need to edit that. Get into those processes. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of the human lines in before we do our final white line over the top. So again, eyebrows. We've got smile line. A bit wiggly, why not? And then we've got, let's do some tired lines or like uh, under eye lines. Looking a bit tribal because of the, uh, the way that I'm, I'm using the pen, so I'm using the fat side of it rather than the thin. That's fine. Let's christen him, so he's obsolete. I'm gonna put my first initial skull line in, just so I've got a structure for the white. So I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna cut into his head a little bit, and then down. Half and half, again, just using those structures that we've got in the lines here. But as I said with the jaw, I'm going to come in. So, quite an aggressive straight line, cut, slightly above nose line, come down, and there's our top part of the skull. Uh, I don't really do bottom jaws in my skulls, however today, special occasion, I'm going to do one. It's going to be a very, very simple one though, so I'm just going to be very straight with it. And again, just checking those lines on my own work, just to see how they come out. Let's put some ears in. You can start seeing this come out. Uh, I'm just gonna outline a couple of the shapes just to give it a little bit more depth, a little bit more something extra. And then we're gonna do some radiant lines around him so he's illuminated, so he's thinking. So these are kind of like thinking lines or, oh, I've got an idea lines. You can put any lines you want. If you want curly ones, if you want straight ones, customize at will. Again, if you copy me, such a good way of, of creating art. Imitation is the highest form of flattery uh, in my world. So if you've got a famous artist that you like or you've seen some work that they like, try and recreate it, why not? 
in that process, you will find your own path. And we'll just do some beard lines as well, just to get them in and give it, I don't know what I'm talking about, um, a bit more something, something. Okay, he's gonna take about two minutes to dry, absolutely fine. The last line will be a white line that goes over everything. So again, it's a kind of mix between Mr. Skull and Nugget, this is paint. So it takes a lot longer to paint and dry. Can be very nice to use, though very fluid. Half free form, half structured. And again, hitting that middle point between those two things, between that structure and that freedom, is a, a really, really good place to find yourself because it gives you that um, incentive to stick to a line, but also gives you the freedom to do literally whatever you want. That's the, the best thing about art, certainly I've found, um, is that you can do anything. Everything starts with a pencil. Everything you have ever seen has been drawn before it's designed. So getting used to that pencil, being confident in that, is such a, a good open door to the world of art. Put some color in, change the thickness of the nib, make it a black pen instead. All these things are experimental. Okay, yep, last little 30 seconds before he dries. So again, pretty similar kind of look. But again, that's only through the structure that we've used. Um, once you've done that structure a couple of times, you know, maybe 10, 20 times, 400 times, no matter, um, you then have the, uh, the opportunity to kind of start playing with different um, ideas within art. So certainly with the Bowie piece, uh, my Bowie sick face, you know, this is quite close to Bowie. Um, but I've used a couple of different pens to show depth. And obviously you've got his jaw, exactly the same structure, draw an egg. Half line, Bowie's eyes are a little bit strange. We all know this. Um, so again, use that, you, you know, look, look at the face, work out where the differences are, draw your structure first, and then customize it. He's got a nose, quite a skinny nose, big mouth, big lips. We've got the neckline, jaw, hair detail, and obviously the customization that makes it Bowie. The sun, there we are. Things like uh, Shakespeare, obviously he wears different things. So the rough, will automatically put him in a time frame. It'll automatically remind you uh, of who he is, who he was. Obviously the structure, I really like this one. There you go. One more for the example. So again, Johnny has a, Johnny Depp has a with scissor hands. He's got his collar. I always cut the necks off because he's a character, he's not real. Um, but again, these little scars and the kind of, uh, the marks in his mouth, the crazy hair. These are all um, work in practice uh, trials and errors. So, you know, you, can, you might be able to see the pencil line. I just did a crazy one and then bring it in a little bit. So there we are. There we are. That's next week though. Let's just double check our canvas now. Cool, little touch test. Still a touch, a touch wet. There we go, you can see my fingerprint in it as well. That's fine. Give him another little minute. Again, that final line. I'm not gonna be too precious about it. It's not gonna take too long. Um, so I just, want to make sure that this is completely dry before I put another layer on it. Um, I do really, really want to use white. So again, we're going to put some eyes in, nose and a mouth. While that is drying, I just want to remind everyone, next week is over to you guys once more. We've had um, a couple of interactive weeks with Manchester's Finest and Paint with Pete. Uh, so the first one was um, right thing, uh, suggest things for Pete to draw in his garden. You can see that video, it's the first one, of the Paint with Pete and Manchester's Finest. Um, so we took Manchester skyline, we had a narwhal horn, things I would miss, uh, sunflower, peace sign, loads of different things, loads and loads of different ideas, amazing suggestions, thank you so much, you can watch that video. Uh, we also had a little doodle session um, that was under the idea of my art night, excuse me, called Overdrawn, uh, where we cover the tables in paper, we get adults back into the head of just being a kid at school where you can just draw whatever you want on the tables. So we had a, the amazing audience uh, come up with silly little rhyming sentences for me to draw. That was amazing, thank you so much. We've also done a little bit of, um, of letter, lettering uh, and a letter workshop. So we came up with the, uh, a kind of rounder font, very, very um, easy, very kind of approachable font. So again, this was uh, last week's session where we just did the structure of what letters are and then how to make them a little bit Friendlier, a little bit more approachable, so fat. Come up with a nickname, use your nickname, draw your mum and dad's name, draw next door neighbor's name. Very simple font, again, 
These guys are amazing. So he can go back up now. And today we're doing the face. So today is just drawing a face. You know, I am an art teacher uh, amongst other things in my other life. Um, so this, these kind of little sessions are a really good uh, reminder of me of how I do my work as well as hopefully interacting with you guys. Um, and if, you know, if one person picks a pen up, done a good job. So we're gonna put a white line over it. I'm just gonna check that the, uh, the white will go on. Yes. So again, I'm half using some of the ideas from uh, Egghead and half from my imagination that makes it a bit more of a free form structure. I'm gonna bring a little bit of the skull mentality back in. As his nose. Just putting our skull circles in, or our, sorry, our eye socket circles. And then all I'm gonna come down, you may have seen me do this before, but I link my eyes and my jaw together. So I come round as part of the jaw, as the other part. Straight line to cut the jaw off. And then we've got teeth. So I want teeth over the mouth. Let's do our lips actually while we're here. So we can do big lips. Again, exaggerate those proportions a little bit and you'll see different things come out in your drawing. I'm just gonna add my nice big teeth. Just blocky teeth. There we are. Okay, he needs some eyebrows. So again, this is kind of, uh, will come up here. And then, uh, let's do him, do him with a tear one as well. Then again, this is just gonna be the final line, top of the head and bottom of the jaw. So I'm gonna just come straight up. I'm gonna go over that break there, put the ears in, use that line right all the way around. Get nice and fluid, I can feel that pivot coming in. There we go. Cut him up there. Cut him up there. And the bottom jaw, again, I don't normally do these, but for a bottom jaw, I'm just gonna put a very simple bottom jaw line in. And again, we're just exaggerating those uh, characteristics. So, put some lines in. You know, we could even put our smile lines back in. Maybe some uh, dots in between his hair, just to show a bit of depth. There we go, last bit of hair. Oh, next one. And there we have our canvas that is based on the face structure with a little bit more free form in it. I'm gonna move that a little bit closer and hold it up so it's away from the wall so you're not getting this kind of uh, distraction around it. Um, I'm gonna sign it as well. Okay, there we are. That is our canvas face, completely finished. Regarde. So again, I need a name. Please name uh, my canvas. He is based on an egg shape that we have just learnt or learnt the structure of here. So any of the red lines are our kind of base lines. Again, if you're using a pencil, the red is your pencil. The black lines are a slightly thicker pen or a slightly heavier pencil if you want to do a final line over it. So we did a couple of eggheads. One guy at perspective, drew a big egg, cut his face directly in half, and then in half horizontally, and then guesstimated half there, and then half again for the nose line and the mouth line. We then did our circles for the eyes, divided it into five, filled those with circles. The middle of your eyes gives you your mouth width and also where your jaw can come in. We then filled them with details as well as filling our little nose in so we had a triangle. I put circles in, much like these things, and then drew around them as a template. Added a few little bits, so we had, added a, a kind of rock, rocky eyebrow 
uh, some tattoos, a piercing, a neck and some shoulders and some hair to give them a bit more of a human quality. And then we just basically recreated that face, but added a skull over the top. So we've got our red line, which is the structure, eyes, nose, mouth, exactly the same as egghead. And then we just use the white Posca to go over our pink, blue, green, and yellow to give us today's finished canvas. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. Just have a little drinkies. And cheers everyone uh, for brew time. Milk with two sugars, please. So I hope everyone got um, a little something out of that. I realize this is very lo-fi. Um, you know, I could step it up into full teaching mode, um, but I just want to make sure that this is an approachable uh, idea and that everybody can get involved. You are more than welcome to join us every week, 10 to 11 on Monday mornings. So we're starting the week nice and fresh. I've got some water, I've got some uh, music on, and all we're doing is being creative, keeping my head busy. So I'm not looking at my phone too much. I'm not looking at the news. And I'm also keeping my hands busy, so I'm not just reaching for my phone. I'm drawing, I'm writing, uh, I'm coming up with lyrics. You can write poetry, draw on anything, write a song, even write a letter to a loved one, to your mum, dad, to your brother, sister, siblings, flatmates, anything like that. We just want to keep those creative juices going so we're not getting too bored. Obviously, we don't have a, a final kind of end date uh, for when this whole thing blows over. So we've got to make sure that we're ready for that. I'm ready for that. Being creative is an easy way of filling that time. You know, obviously watch your films, read your books, listen to some music, absolutely fine. But to have that interaction again with the world that we've missed in our human friends and people and parents and stuff, nothing better than drawing them. Okay, so if you wanna, if you, you know, if you, you know, I live on my own, I like drawing faces, they keep me a little bit of company. It does help. I give them names so I can relate to them and I can say good morning to them, and that sounds very strange. <laughs> We're all a little bit strange, aren't we? Okay, so please tag us in any photos as well. Um, where's Mr. Bart Simpson gone? He's fallen off, hasn't he? Here's my incredibly strange Bart Simpson. But again, please tag me in any of your drawings. This is a you know 30 second uh, doodle. As a guess, I wanna see your Bart Simpsons, all right? So tag Manchester's Finest, or Pete Obsolete, hello, um, in any of the posts. Uh, obviously, if it's on the video, um, please comment with your images, whether it's uh, your amazing eggs or Mr. Bart Simpson, or if you have followed me and you have a canvas and you or a piece that you want to show us, you know, give us a shout out. We will celebrate that. All we're doing is celebrating each other and being creative in this very strange time. Um, next week, one more time for the reminder. This is on you guys one more time, okay? I'm gonna have a blank bit of paper. All I want to do is draw a celebrity. That's it. I don't know who I'm gonna draw yet. I don't know how I'm gonna draw it yet. This is on you guys. Please give Manchester's Finest and Paint With Pete a couple of suggestions of people you like in the world, who are doing good in the world, or have entertained you, or have um, a lot of charisma and a lot of uh, character to them. That will come out in the drawings. So we can have anybody from, uh, you know, poets, singers, rappers, actors, actresses, uh, MCs, you know, presidents, um, prime ministers. <laughs> Give us a suggestion and you could be seeing me draw your suggestion up next week. And obviously I'll sign it and write your name on the board as well. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Pete Obsolete. Make friends with me. I'm Obsolete Formats and Pete Obsolete on Instagram. If you want to see any of the paint with peats that I do in my studio, like today, Obsolete Art Manchester. But please stay following Manchester's Finest. Celebrate art. Share some uh, local artists or musicians' work. And spread love. Wash these hands and rep for the NHS. Have a lovely afternoon. Happy Mondays, everyone. <laughs>